So what's going on here? I think we just got home and we're entering the house. Taking off our shoes. Wow, look at all those shoes. Yeah. They had a lot of Crocs. I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> Who are these young kids? Natsuki, my host, had two older brothers. They both went on the trip, so they got to host those two. Oh. So what was the house like? The house was pretty small. There were three rooms and a living room. The stairs were really, really steep. The living room was the only place that was heated. So the whole family would spend most of their time there. How did you like playing this old organ? It was weird because the keys, you had to press down harder on them. Oh, really? To make any sound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was okay. Yay! You were doing pretty good there. <laughs> what did your host student's room look like? I guess a little bigger than mine, but there were two beds in it uh -huh. and two like study tables. And they put like a futon where I would sleep. So they really used up the space. They call it that I stepped on, on the cat in Jap Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this that you're listening to? Big Bang. They're okay. actually originally a Korean group, mm -hmm. but a bunch of Korean groups make Japanese songs or release Japanese albums. Really? So they must have a big following in Japan. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> this is Kiari Pangu Pangu. In Japan, they know her as like a crazy girl. It's more of like the cute factor and like how she dresses. Kind of like Lady Gaga. <laughs> so what do you think of the fact that you share interests in pop music? It was nice, like when I come all here and I'll be like, oh, I know this. Did these ladies play any American music? I remember when Yuri came over, um, she told me that they liked Lady Gaga. Okay. Where did they get all these shirts? It was the older sister's shirts from past trips. Oh. And who is this? There they have um, a boy band called Arashi, mm -hmm. and they're really, really popular. Oh yeah? Are they any good? Oh uh, yeah, they're pretty good. But the thing is that they are like 30, and oh. so like the moms like them too. <laughs> you, you don't want to talk about your boyfriend or anything like that? <laughs> no? No? I don't have one. You don't, you How did you have, feel to be talking to these Japanese girls about boyfriend, girlfriend? It stuff? was really fun. Like, was it? it um, it's similar to what me and my friends do here. And do they all have particular crushes? Yeah. One-sided love. One-sided. Oh, one-sided love. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she liked to him. They're all in like one class and they're like six boys. All the rest are girls. They're like 20 something. Wow, so those boys must be popular then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what is that you're looking at there? Is that a mini laptop? It was their translator. Pretty much everyone had one. Really? So what do they need the translators for? For like school. For speaking English or? Yeah. Oh, really? Are they learning a lot of English in school? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what show is this? This is like one of the many variety shows. They play really silly games. It'd be a human pinball machine, I think. <laughs> Keep on uh, playing. Okay? Jan Gen Pong. Ah, no, that's it.
What game is this? This is Karom. How did you like this game? Yeah. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's the goal? Like there are two teams, mm -hmm. there's a green and red, and you use your piece and you flick it to try to hit a piece of the same color mm -hmm. into one of the, the slots. One of these holes in the corner? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the whole objective of the game is to try to get the little piece that's like white, mm -hmm. and then it has like a red circle and a green circle, and you try to get that into one of the slots, and that's the winning piece, I and see. you win the game if you get that in. So you want to get that piece there into one of the holes? Yeah, yeah. And you have to move everything else out of the way to get at. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? She shot her own piece. Oh, into, into the hole? Yeah, she oh. missed it completely. It was really popular. We had a tournament at the school, and this was what we played. Oh, really? What? I'm hungry. Empty stomach. So how did you use the Japanese that you learned in class? I usually used it as like introducing myself to the class, like being polite to others and at home. Go to home. Leave home. You will go to home. You will leave home. Leave home. Leave home. How did you appreciate your host's family's efforts in communicating with you in English? They really, really tried. Like they used their translators. They like tried really hard. Give me the chance to like call home. Like they really. Really tried on that. I admired their effort. Oh, they were going to give you the chance to call. Yeah, thing? yeah, but they couldn't like figure out how to, like they figured it out, but my mom didn't. She didn't pick up the phone. Oh. <laughs> about eight. About eight. So Vanessa, what what do you say before you eat? <laughs> okay. What are you eating here? Okay, it's ahead, ahead. miso soup, salad, beef tongue, and kimchi. What did you like the best? Beef tongue. Oh, yeah? When we went back in the classes, we went to the Japanese restaurant to try the foods, and that was my favorite out of all of the foods. So I said that in my letter, and they made it just for me. Oh, nice. Thank you. Does the dog eat at the table yeah. every day? Yeah. Oh yeah. Every day they would give me clementines, eat mine, and then like give a piece to the dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they were impressed that you could eat some food that even some Japanese people can't eat. What do you think of that? I don't really know what to think. It was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the occasion for the fireworks? This was like near the end of my stay and they wanted to celebrate like with fireworks. Mm -hmm. So I think we did it two nights in a row. Oh, we wow. had like sparklers. And um, this thing like that twirled around. <laughs> Tim was saying that the fireworks are pretty common for kids summertime. Yeah, that day it was raining really hard, so we're under the garage, and you can hear it on the garage. You can hear the the rain the or rain. the thunder. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering if that's what uh, what I heard. Yep. <laughs> Those look different. Oh yeah, they'd be like little sticks. Mm -hmm. Then you would light it, and it looks like a little drop of fire, I guess, and it would go up until it would go out. Oh cool, so it would climb up. It's the... like a really delicate firework, I guess. Hmm. Do you know what this is called? I don't. Apparently it's a Senko Hanabi, an incense stick firework. Could you smell like incense? Yeah, too? a little bit. Ah, it's 